It's a pleasure to speak to you today from our new home in Delhi as I start my time as British High Commissioner to India. It's a joy to be back in a country which I first lived in 35 years ago, which I have very fond memories from teaching children in Madhya Pradesh to traveling all over the country, Dharamsala, uh, the Ghats in Varanasi, uh, the desert near Jaisalmer, uh, all the magnificent sights which India gives you, as well as the tastes and the sounds. I'm speaking at a strange time. I'm speaking from home because I'm quarantining for two weeks, as we all must, arriving from the UK. Uh, and I wanted to thank all those who've been responsible for uh, ensuring UK-India air travel can start again. So COVID, I think, is my first priority uh, in this job. Uh, and we are already doing a great deal together as the UK and India, including through our vaccination programs using the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. The second priority is climate change, uh, a priority for the UK, for India, for all the world, again, to build back better because it's an issue which affects us all. And our aim is a high ambition outcome from the climate summit, which the UK will host in November of this year in Glasgow. Third, trade and investment. Again, build back better by helping our economies to grow mutually, to support each other, uh, as we to create jobs, to create opportunities, both for the UK and for India. Fourthly, <coughs> defense and security. We have to face the world as it is and will be, not the world of the past. And that means more work together between UK and India to face common challenges as well as opportunities. Finally, the living bridge. This extraordinary flow of talent uh, between the UK and India, which we must sustain. Uh, no better symbolized than by our own Minister of Finance, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, Rishi Sunak, lighting Rangoli outside the famous door of the Chancellor of the Exchequer in number 11 Downing Street. So many opportunities. We hope to see some of them through the G7, which we'll be hosting in June of this year, but also uh, in other ways, bilaterally and in other fora. And finally, I must pay respect to the extraordinary achievements of the Indian cricket team. To win a test series in Australia and to win, do it by winning at the Gabba I think 33 years since the last time an overseas team won there in a test match is a remarkable achievement and I cannot wait for the arrival of the England cricket team to play against India. Thank you.